what's up guys welcome back to the channel and uh, welcome back to another reaction request hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend or depending when you watch this weekday weeknight whenever it is in your neck of the woods thank you for watching and I hope you are excited because this is a juicy reaction request from Jazzy J Jazzy J wants to hear John Farnham only woman bleed original song by Alice Cooper she says so thank you Jazzy J for that reaction request and guys the website is live once again if you want to put your own reaction request in something from the playlist of your life head over to the website offtap.life link is in the description below With that being said guys we're going to dive into this one and oh, by the way i've got lots of other videos if you haven't seen them go check them out we've got thousands and thousands of entertainment for you at your fingertips all it takes really is a subscribe and then turn to all noties on so you don't miss on future uploads and maybe even a thumbs up you know or a comment here and there you know just to you know show a little love you know what i mean that's all that's all good anyways i'll further do for me jesse j and all of you let's get Hold on, let's read that really quick. Domestic violence is any behavior adopted by a person to control a victim and causes psych uh, physical, sexual, or psychological damage, which results in a victim living in fear. Okay, so this is like just a horrible, horrible, horrible reality that happens to a lot of people. I've experienced domestic violence myself. I've got friends who've experienced it. It is a absolute horrible and serious issue that we have on this planet you know and it's just sucks that sucks that you know we have to even have songs that have to you know talk about this kind of horrible stuff going on because it is such a reality you know but you know shout out to john for being one of those people who's using his platform to do so to you know hopefully make a change you know bring in bring awareness to a situation that also happens to it doesn't matter what sex you are even what color your skin what your religious background or culture like this is something that happens and can't happen to anybody you know so i really 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 think that this song if this is already the context in which this song is about this is a powerful one so let's strap in and let's let john continue to preach let's go Also, just quickly want to say, and no one should ever have to live that way. If you're someone that's experiencing this, that's going through this, you don't have to put up with it. Get out of there. There's no way that you have to choose to live your life in fear like that. Like, there's tons of places out there where you can get assistance and help. Uh, you know, just like don't think that you are stuck and you're alone because you're not. There's a lot of lot of resources to help people who are in this situation so please like just yeah anyways well it, <laughs> it's kind of hard not to get all deep about this song when that's the first thing you see and you know to start talking about it but let's let the song continue to play and i'll you know share some of my thoughts later on can we just quickly take a moment to acknowledge the fact that she sounds a lot like john farno is also from probably the 80s i'm feeling like it's got that 80s vibe to it and the reason i say that is because you know you know the world we live in today is very just like everyone is politically correct and all this kind of stuff and some of it is a bit like wow okay that's like that's pretty extreme you know matter of opinion perception perspective people have different thoughts on this but then some things actually do make sense where people are now like you know kind of opening their eyes to things that before was kind of one-sided and domestic violence is one of those things because usually like you know you you tend to think like and it's always just how they even um depict it and like you know you'd watch like commercials on tv or you watch something you know like you see an ad you see someone talking about domestic violence or something and always talking about it from a perspective as it's just women that are being victims of domestic violence when it's actually not only women it's also guys that are victims of domestic violence like it's not a just gender specific thing like it can happen to anybody and that's what i was saying earlier before this video even started like you know like there's it, it doesn't matter where you're from your gender your culture because there's also 
this again stereotype of certain cultures that actually are more according to some like you know tend to be more inclined to be aggressive in relationships and, and be the ones who are you know dishing out domestic violence like again it's not a one sided affair type of situation this is something that can happen to anybody anybody even the strongest of us you know it's a real situation where you know people are putting up with some crazy stuff and a lot of people do it because like I said in the beginning when the writing is because of fear a lot of people are scared to get out of those situations you know they they fear for their lives and some situations probably rightfully so you know there are some crazy people on this planet unfortunately but you know you gotta do whatever you can to get the help you need to get out of that type of environment because unfortunately there's a lot of really sad stories of things that's happened due to domestic violence and again as someone who's experienced domestic violence I can tell you that the best thing you can do is put everything into your vehicle and drive as far away as fast as you can as quickly as possible leave in the middle of the midnight if you can whatever you got to do and you get out of there and that's what you got to do anyways let's let's get let's let this uh song continue here let's go let's go get up that's what you got to do and i'm sorry guys cuz i've kind of just gotten you know into the whole discussion around the topic of this actual video as opposed to the song itself I haven't really addressed anything musically about the song itself I've just seen that first and it's kind of hard again you 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 start this video off and it's the first thing that's smashed across the screen there you can't help but instantly feel some kind of way about that topic because the first thing you see and you know and then you know what's going on with the video you're listening to the lyrics you, you're understanding the story you're watching the visuals you're seeing her packing it's kind of hard to remember that oh yeah but what about the song <laughs> so i mean you know i will say a couple things about that real quick obvious things that you know john farnham you know it doesn't matter what the subject matter is he delivers he's a great artist a great performer musically he is one of the greatest that have ever done it you know you don't it, you know it doesn't matter what country you're from you've probably have heard one of his songs somewhere because he's just that good because once you've heard it you can't unhear it like you would know that you heard him working his magic like just i'm i just want to say thank you to you guys for sharing these amazing reaction requests because like all these songs I wouldn't have known anything about them if it wasn't for you guys sharing them and requesting them like this so you know I've gotten to geez I've done tons of John Farnham reactions and let me tell you like this guy is just absolutely incredible every time I hear him I can't think anything but just of how incredible he is you know what I mean and uh, you, you know this video is powerful you know because he's not even shown his face in this video once but his vocals are there his presence is known you know, even though he hasn't even physically been seen in the video, but his presence is felt and you can feel that impact just again vocally because he's so good at what he does. All right, let's let the song finish and I'll get my phone. See, and that's what I was saying earlier, like, you know, there's services you can call. You know, if you know someone who's going through this or yourself, you're going through this, like, don't just sit there and feel like you're alone in this. There is a bunch of different organizations and numbers you can call to get the help you need to get out of that situation don't ever like it is a crime as i said don't ever let anyone give you that feeling of fear that you just are going to just stay there and allow them to beat you up every day it's just not right powerful 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 you know there's certain songs out there sung by certain artists that you can really just absolutely listen to once and be like, oh my gosh, like that's powerful. And you know, this song instantly right off the back, you knew it was going to be a powerful song or at least a very deep and meaningful song because the subject matter, once you knew that it was about domestic violence, you've seen that flash on the screen, you knew that it was going to be one of those kind of songs that really kind
kind of moved you a bit, you know what I mean? And especially as someone, again, of myself who've experienced this, like, at the end of the day, like, these type of songs is the kind of songs that you wish and pray that someone out there would be making to bring awareness, to help stop this whole ugly culture that exists in our world, because this is just one of a million things. I mean, obviously, there's a lot of ugly, evil things that go on in our planet, but, like, a lot of this stuff is kind of out of our control that happens sometimes in life but this right here is one of those things that you have control over you really do i know in the moment when it's all going down you don't feel like you do and it's not just only that that about whether or not you feel like you can leave and get out of that situation but it's also the hardest part of it all is that your emotions are running wild because you actually love that person at some point in time you're thinking about all the amazing times that you shared where you guys were having kumbaya peaceful moments and next thing you know you're getting freaking abused by this person smacked in the face freaking bitten of mouth i can tell you some of the things that happened to me and let me tell you it is absolutely horrible horrible that anyone would think it was okay to be freaking biting you I used to have a piercing here and things and uh, I ain't gonna get started about it anyways um, uh, it's one of those type of situations where at the end of the day like I said you know you you get these mixed feelings because like you do love this person still even though they're doing these horrible things like these violent things you're you're confused because you do have this heart strong connection that you think you still have for them meanwhile you find it hard to leave because you're making excuses for why that person does it. you know like a lot of people i've heard i've heard the stories from tons of people where they're like it just only happens when they're drunk or it just only happens when they get angry you know if, as long as i do the right things they they're fine most of the time like they're making all of these crazy excuses to justify what that person is doing and what that person's doing is not right like at the end of the day it is a crime man like you can't lay your you can't physically anything to anybody let's let's make this understood man you know it is not on it is not cool and a lot of people out there you know, some people, again, they, they they attempt to do this whole justify thing and they'll tell their story and they'll be like, oh, well, when I was a kid, my dad used to do this to me and my mom used to, and, and then they'll blame that and use that as the reason to attempt to justify why they're taking their aggression out physically on someone else. Like, no, 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 no. There's no, there's no justification. There's no story that you can tell about your childhood that makes it okay for you to be evil and do that kind of stuff to people as an adult. Whatever happened in your life, no matter if you were a victim of violence yourself, it doesn't make it right for you to therefore be able to do so too. Like, it's crazy some of the things. And this is one of those topics that I could talk on for freaking hours and hours. Maybe I'll do a podcast on this topic because it's one of those topics that it doesn't doesn't matter if it's been said a million times it needs to be said a million more like you there's no you know limit on how many people should be out there spreading awareness and attempting to help those who are going through this to find the you know information and the the I want to say braveness you know to be able to feel like yes I can get out of this I don't need to be in this relationship you know it breaks my heart I've had some friends who've gone through some stuff as well where I just I hear their stories and it breaks my heart because no one should ever have to be in a violent relationship. It is just not cool. It is not cool whatsoever. And I can just tell you, man, like it breaks my heart and it makes you yourself like want to because I, I had a friend who was in a relationship like that and I was like every time telling him, like, why don't you just leave him? Why are you why are you putting up with it? Now again because of my own personal experiences, I can understand why someone has a difficulty getting out of that type of a relationship. You know, I get it. There's a lot of heart stuff involved and whatever. But on the outside looking in, you know, you're like, it's crazy because no one you ever say, people say like, you don't know what it's like unless you're able to walk in someone else's shoes. That's what it's like, right? It's easy for us on the outside to be like, oh, just, just, 
pack your car and go. Just pack your car and go. You know, like it's easy for us on the outside to say that to someone else, but when you're actually that person in that situation, it's a whole different story. It's not as easy as just freaking clicking your um, shoes together and end up in Kansas. It's not like that, you know? It's not that easy. So my heart goes out to all the people who are dealing with this type of stuff, and I ask you, I implore you to please, please just find the help that you need to help you get out of that situation. And if you're brave enough yourself to just pack up your car, pack up your suitcase like in this video and do it, then do it. Okay, now I don't want to keep talking about this video, the topic of this video. I have not really reacted to the actual video itself, the, the song itself. I've really reacted to the topic, which some people are topic reactors who, and I probably have reacted to topics here and there mixed with the actual song. I do like to actually talk about the song. So for a second, let's take the subject matter away and uh, let's talk about the song. So, um, you know, one of the things that if you are a John Farnham fan, you're going to really just really know that if you ever were to wonder what it was like to hear someone who actually sung with the full, just complete freedom to feel like they were free within their soul to express their passion and the fullest extent of that ability. Like, there's no better example of what is true 100% freedom in passion and living that moment completely free to just express yourself in its fullest. If you were wondering what that looked like, if you was wondering how do you do that, you need to look no further than to look at John Farnham because he is that and more. Like, you can't, as a person who appreciates good music, really good music, really great vocal ability, really great songwriting, really great just production values from A to Z, music composition, mastering, mixing, backing vocals from other artists, like all the musicians, everything involved in a John Farnham song they're top-notch. They're always the best of the best. It's incredible. They all come together. You've seen him perform live. If you haven't checked out again my previous videos, I've done tons of reactions to his lives and things like that. But you watch it all come together and it's something incredible, something special because he, again, if you're, it's like Michael Jordan, right? Like Michael Jordan, they, there was, there was um this one point where obviously like Michael Jordan was surrounded by other, you know, people who would, you know, kind of on a, no one's on the same playing ground as Michael Jordan, but, you know, they they all had the skills, right? Like, they all were, like, you know, pretty good at what they do <laughs> to help support someone who's great at what they do, right? And that's an example of John Farnham, you know, if you listen to a song that he's made, you go, okay, wow, okay, listen to those horns or listen to uh, the actual a composition, you know, the production values of the song. Let's listen and see. Okay, I like that. Like, that's very crispy. Let's watch the visuals. Let's see how the video and the song comes together in alignment, you know, like the whole, just whole ensemble of what John Farnham does. The whole thing is always just picture perfect. It's just absolutely flawless. And you got to appreciate that. Even if you're not a John Farnham fan, even if you've never heard him before, one, oh, it takes one, one song, one moment, and you'll be like, okay, I got it. Yeah, this guy's awesome. <laughs> does, you know, I really like him. I, I think he's freaking incredible. I think that we're all blessed to be able to live in a uh, period of time where these type of artists their works are available for us to experience because like you know if you it doesn't matter if you're 80 or you're 8 or whatever your age is like you know you have the ability to experience these amazing bodies of work you know and John Farnham has a big body of work so it's really cool that's one of the reasons I love doing reaction videos is because I get to experience this stuff through you know my own you know like um 
you know, ears and my own experience, not the stories, you know, like there's probably a period of time where someone would perform a song or something. So, oh yeah, there was this live concert I went to and you just had to listen to their story and go, oh gosh, that would have been great to see. I wish I could have experienced it. Well, guess what? Now, if you live in our period of time, you can experience it, right? You can watch the video of it and, and feel like you were there. It's beautiful. It's incredible. It's amazing. So, I appreciate uh, just being able to react to stuff like this. So thank you very much for the reaction request, Jazzy J. I appreciate this one's a really great one. Thank all of you guys who put your reaction requests through. Again, the website is live now, so you can go ahead. Links in the description. Put your reaction requests through, and we're back. As you guys can see, we've got lots of new videos, and we've got thousands and thousands of videos already on the channel for you guys to check out. So you don't have to feel like you don't have any uh content to enjoy yourself with because uh, guess what i've been busy i've i've done lots and lots and lots, and lots of videos over the years so check them out uh subscribe join the family and uh one more time going back to that topic of this video if you're someone in this situation please just don't let fear get the best of you and get out of there all right if you're struggling to find the nerve or the ability to get out there, then call one of the agencies. They have places that can help you to get this situation taken care of. All right. Love you guys. And as always, remember to want to do fullest. Keep it off tap.